Hello, welcome to Just All Things. My name is Jonathan and I buy and sell vintage clothing for a living. And in today's video, I have an unbranded sack from Boom Wholesale, which I'm gonna open and show you. Well, I've just opened it, but I wanna show you now. This is what I've received this uh, week in stock. So first off, Woolrich Women's Fleece Gelé. Uh, we're kind of like end of March, so fair chance this might still sell. Uh, it's a bit of a body warmer. We've still got cooler mornings, fun things like that. So still worth listing things like that. Um, however, we are getting towards the end of season. So maybe it's also time to start holding back for autumn, but there's no harm in listing it now if it just stays online for a few months till autumn. It'll not be too much of a big deal. Ooh, no FX. No FX t-shirt. Nice funky t-shirt. Mid 2000s, I reckon. Looks like it's on a Fruit of the Loom tag that's been cut out. But um, 10, 15 quid. Oh, wow. Okay, it's on an older t tag. It's long sleeve. Round Trees Fruit Juice Drink. So I'm guessing at one point, Round Trees made a drink for their fruit pastels. And this is a t-shirt for it. Long sleeve, a little bit of loose stitching, but nice 90s piece. Um, need to check a bit of history on it just to kind of bring the date in, but I reckon that's a good 25, 30 quid piece. Anything old like that. Surfers Hardware. <laughs> Surface hardware tea, mid 2000s again. But any kind of like tea like that, you're looking at 10, 15 quid. Cayman Islands, Lotus uh, graphic on it, but it's kind of really hard to tell what it says. Touristy tea. We are single stitch though, so we're probably looking at 20 quid at least for a single stitch. Just being single stitch alone carries its value. If you're not too short, single stitches, basically kind of pre-2000s, essentially, um, t-shirts were um, had a single stitch on the cuff. If we go to that surf tee, the surf tee, you can see the double stitch. On this one, for example, I just pulled out, it's a single stitch. The one I just pulled out is a New Orleans French Quarter embroidered tee, uh, and it is a single stitch. So we're looking at least 90s, right? They kind of stopped the single stitch kind of towards the very early 2000s when manufacturing moved heavily towards like China and such. Uh, made specifically to save the planet, Hard Rock Cafe, Hong Kong. So mid 2000s, Hard Rock tea, 15 quid. Really nice colors on that one actually. Um, property of Russell Athletic, made in USA, double stitch. Uh, just a heavy tea, 12 quid, maybe a tenner. Ooh, what is this? Um, is it Rodeo? Magic Ski, oh, it's a Camprey. Camprey Ski Jacket from the 90s. And it looks like it's from the 90s. This is gonna be a whole back piece ready for winter because ski season is well and truly over. Maybe list it for festival season, with it being so vibrant, but it's definitely a nice, cool 90s piece. Never uh, take for granted what the kids will do at festivals. They will wear the heaviest stuff. Plus, if you remember, things like Leeds Fest, Glastonbury, always pisses it down. So having a thicker coat on hand, never usually a bad thing. Sometimes it's worth having that stuff ready um, because people will buy it. Also, if you do sell internationally, half the world is still going to be in winter there's a fair chance somebody might buy something uh, for selling that uh, taking it abroad essentially uh, international customers don't think anyone's going to be buying Christmas trees a uh, Christmas tree fleece though until winter but come winter that's 25-30 quid crazy to think last year we were getting like 40-50 quid for those and speaking of fleeces nice autumn one loads of sheep all over it uh, again, for me, that's a whole back piece now. I've got plenty of other stuff to be on with. Wow, what is this? No way. Huh. Okay. So it's a childish 
hoodie. Full embroidered front. I don't know what these sell for, but I know a lot of the people who wear things like Supreme and the big hype brands also wear this. I've got a feeling that might be worth a couple of quid. In fact, normally I wouldn't do this, but let me just... Uh, So someone's selling this online for 35 quid, the exact same one. Thought maybe we're worth more. Somebody's selling a childish one though for 140 quid, so 50 quid, 50. Yeah, 50 seems to be the average of the pre-owned stuff. There's the Ferrari. If you watched the previous two videos, I'd have mentioned Ferrari a couple of times. That's because it's still outside, because I'm doing the back-to-back. -back. But that childish hoodie is 35 to 50 quid thereabouts. Uh, on an old Hanes, <laughs> it's ladybirds dancing and playing jazz. Can you appreciate the sound of that new Ferrari? <clears throat> I assume that just came through the microphone nice and clear. Windy City, Chicago, Chicago tourist thing, 15 quid. Uh, it'll stay down there for a bit. Canada. Wow, look at this bad boy. Big all over print Canada, straight onto the sleeves. Um, ooh, sorry. Big all over Canada, straight over the sleeves. Um, that's a cool sweatshirt, we'll call that 20 quid. Now we're getting to the whole back section of the bag. Italian style, big V-neck from the 90s, classic Euro. Uh, v-neck jumper you could probably get away with selling these um, through spring and autumn for the golfers they love the like lighter knit for those early morning golf days Pierre Sanguin again another v-neck or you could just hold them back ready for winter Marks and Spencer's it looks like an oldie it's definitely chunky definitely a big boy um, and do we have a date, please? Made in Italy. No, the date tag is sadly worn out. Uh, but we're looking late 80s, early 90s. Interesting, they actually messed up and double tagged it. But uh, Italian um, jumper. I knew I was getting sacks today, so I took a load of hay food tablets, but this is the third one in a row and it's starting to wear off. Classic Baja hippie hoodie. As I've said in the previous videos, these are now mass produced, so they don't carry the value they used to, but we are coming up to festival season, spring, summer, etc. You're gonna get 15, 20 quid. Ooh, ooh. Does the zip work? Why is the zip backwards? That's weird. What a weird zip. Weird, okay. Well, it's the Norge 2000 Dale of Norway quarter zip. That's 50 quid. Dale of Norway always has a good return. Nico, Italian 90s jumper, classic 90s jumper, 15, 20 quid. Again, that's a whole back piece. Contempto, women's jumper, floral job. Let me empty this out. All right. Weird fish quarter zip, 20, 25 quid. Weird fish macaroni, XL, women's, uh, 25. Ooh, ooh indeed. Johnny Walker, Vodafone branded, McLaren, Mercedes-Benz uh, race jacket. That could be a hundred quid piece. It could be going on the wall with my other stuff. 
That is cool. That is very cool. Mercedes McLaren, uh, like race jacket essentially. It's got the shouldery bits on like you expect from the race jackets. Fly Emirates, Nef, uh, Nefcaf Express. That's cool. Hugo Boss down the sleeve, at t Corduroy's Classics, Burgundy, 20 quid. Blue cords, buttons there. On an old lightning zip, oh wow, okay. If you've watched any previous videos, I've said that the things like uh, Talon, you can date the zips. Lightning is another brand where you should be able to date the zips. If I can find the graphic, I'll insert it here so you can see. Oh, pardon me, Snivels. Mohair jumper. Oh, definitely woolly. It's actually really unique. Mohair, but then like knit down the back and the front. Oh, what's this? This is interesting. Ooh. Big old Pashamama fleece. Knit on the outside, fleece on the inside. 50 quid at least all day. Full fleece lined. Pashamama stuff always sells well. I say, and last but not least, it looks like an acorn leisure, but with a really nice Kingfisher embroidery on the front. So there you go, that's everything I got from this unbranded sack. Really good return, I think. I reckon we're looking at 700 at least. Oh, I'm falling over. Um, if you haven't already joined Whatnot, I am doing a stream every Thursday. Make sure you join up if you'd like to sell them there. Make sure you email me info in the description below. But overall, very happy with that sack. Um, the jacket and the Pashmama is 150 quid. And we've got the childish hoodie as well. So we're looking at um, 200 quid just in those two pieces. So happy chappy, plenty to be on with uh, now for this season. Plenty to hold back ready for winter and plenty of content for you. So like and subscribe, yeah? All right, I'll catch you in the next one.